Welcome to the JJ Guardian channel. Uh, we are in from Other Sons, and this time we're talking about exploits. Now, we've talked about exploits in some of my other videos with, uh, with regard to From Other Sons. Those have been mostly what I call storyline exploits. So, in the case of, for example, the pirate escape mission or, uh, or the um, <clears throat> pirate leader mission in both of those cases you have endless spawn of pirates as long as you don't kill the objective so if you don't kill the escaping spaceship you will forever have uh, pirates spawning trying to kill you even after the spaceship leaves you're still going to have pirates spawning and trying to kill you endlessly <clears throat> the same is true for the pirate leader as long as you don't kill the pirate leader the four doors in the pirate leader mission will continue to spawn pirates endlessly. You can sit there and kill them all day. And the reason why that can be used as an exploit is because the game has specific uh, scoring mechanisms or rewards, in, the case, in this case achievements, uh, related to how many pirates you kill. So, you could set yourself up with one of those missions, don't kill the objective, sit there shooting uh, the, the continuous spawn or the endless spawn, and earn the achievement that way. That's what I call a storyline exploit. Today we're going to be talking about a game design exploit, or put another way, a bug. So these are bugs that have been over that, that, that haven't been spotted in the design of the game and they've created a scenario where you can actually manipulate the bug to affect a different playing experience you can uh, affect control over the enemy things like that through the bug so i'm going to be showing you one today i call the map exploit so the background visuals you're seeing right now have nothing to do with the actual exploit. It's just where I discovered them. And the, the starting point is when you look at a map and you begin to see areas of the map that you've discovered versus areas of the map that you haven't discovered. Like this. So here we're seeing a picture where I'm uh, already in a room. I, you can see the uh, almost the entire vertical line of rooms have been discovered but you can also see to the left and to the right there are areas that are kind of blacked out there are rooms that are that look black these are areas that are not discovered what's important here is the dividing line between them so we see the room i'm in is lit and the neighboring room is not lit and we can see the point where that happens well there's a physical line there in the actual map and if I were, for example, in the previous room, I could fire into the next room. And as long as I didn't enter the room, in some cases, the, the enemy in the room will not activate. I have to enter the room in order for the enemy to activate. So what I can actually do is walk up to the borderline of the room. That's the, between, the borderline between the previous room and the room I'm in. And cross it to draw one enemy out and back up again and the enemy that i've drawn in will continue while the rest will stay behind i'm going to show you this in action so we're on another map now and i'm just see uh, the area i'm in is safe the next room i haven't been in before but we can see the enemies in the in the associated rooms so i'm going to fire a shot Come on, fire the shot. Just checking I've got all my gear first. See? Okay, nobody's moving. Now I cross the line, and they start moving. Then I back up, and I can control their movement. So now I'm only getting two. I kill them. Now let's see if I can just get one this time. Cross the line, one comes across, back off, that's it. Kill him. I 
I love sitting in ambush for these guys, setting them up in traps. So instead of walking into the traps the game designers have set for me, I'd rather pull these guys into traps I've set for them. Now this happens to be one of these roller robots and sometimes they get a little stuck. So I'm going to end up having to pull his buddy. And as I cross, look, the other guy comes too. And in this way, I'm actually controlling the game mechanics. I'm controlling how many things are going to come at me at once. So this exploit isn't perfect for every situation, but it is good for some situations to control the number of mobs you're going to end up having to fight. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, please click like and please subscribe. Uh, thanks for, for watching and uh, have fun.